Hello and welcome back. Today we're going to be taking a look at an overpowered Sword of Night and Flame build. The Sword of Night and Flame used to be a highly rated weapon. However, it was nerfed in one of the very earliest patches and sort of fell off since. So we're taking a little revisit to take a look at see and is Sword of Night and Flame viable and can we make it overpowered? So let's take a look. Now I'm going to split this into a PvP section and a PvE section. The reason being, I have had a lot of people say that you cannot make Int and Faith hybrids at a PvP meta level of 125. So this is going to hopefully put to rest some of those comments. Now, for PvP, obviously you want to use two of them, being dual straight swords are part of the metal, and the Weapon art isn't that good. It can occasionally catch some people off guard, but you're mostly just going to rely on the absurd AR that the Sword of Night and Flame actually gets. And because you are an in faith hybrid, you can mix in Golden Order spells like Law of Regression, Law of Causality, or Pure Faith or Pure In spells like Carrion Slicer, Catch Flame, Beastal Sling and like the healing spells and the greater fortification spells as well as some death spells and magma spells too you can kind of get on this in faith build although it's not really optimized for casting you only have 10 mind the knight stance for sword of night and flame is a large beam now in pvp this beam is pretty bad however if they're charging you in one direction or if you can set them up in a way where they only have one direction to go, you can use this beam and get some pretty hefty damage in, as you can see in these clips. And the flame stance is going to be a worse wave of gold. Uh, the reason I say this is that it angles upwards for whatever reason, and it is very easy to roll. It doesn't have any desync problems like wave of gold has. However, if it lands, it does a similar function to Wave of Gold. It will knock them down, allowing you to gain an advantageous position on them. So for the PvE side of things, the Knight Stance is very good for pure DPS, although it does have a lower range than you would expect. It's not really short range, but it certainly isn't the longest thing in the world. And for the Flame Stance, it does a very large chunk of damage in a large AoE. So, it's good. I would say it's a little bit better than the Knight Stance, but it isn't really that much of a difference. Okay, so the build. As I said, the build's at 125 because that's the PvP meta level, and this build is trying to prove that you can make Int and Faith hybrids at 125. So, as always, we have 60 Vigor because that's the Vigor soft cap. We have 12 Strength and 12 Dexterity because those are the weapon requirements for Sword Knight and Flame. We have uh, 45 intelligence boosted to 48 with the Queen's Crescent Crown, and that's to get to that 50 intelligence soft cap. And for faith, we have 45 faith boosted to 50 with the Two Fingers Heirloom, and that's also going to be the faith soft cap. Now, as I said before, we're using dual straight swords, and we're going to be using the Golden Order Seal. For the spells, the first two spells that we have, Golden Vow and Hell Shabriri, are going to be PvE spells. They are quite bad in PvP. And the rest of the spells are going to be PvP basically exclusive, although you can use the Greater Fortifications instead of Hell Shabriri if you don't like that 30% debuff. For the armor, we have the Queen's Crescent Crown, which is going to give us plus 3 int, and the Crucible Axe Armor. Battle Mage Gauntlets, and the Crucible Greaves. For the Talismans, we have Bullgoat's Talisman to boost our poise, Great Jar's Arsenal to boost our equip load, Crimson Armor Medallion to boost our HP because we are doing some PvP with this. We do want more HP than we would if it was just PvE. And then Two Fingers Heirloom to boost our faith. And with the Bullgoat's Talisman, we get 77 poise, which is two above the poise breakpoint, but that's just what was optimal. And then for the great rune, we have Radon's great rune to boost our HP, FP, and stamina. 
And for the crystal tier, we have the flame shrouding crack tier and the magic shrouding crack tier to boost our fire and magic damage.